sometimes I do get jealous when I see people like living normal lives, you know, like when they post about like a house or jobs or kids, like I want, I want that. I kind of crave something that would be just like normal because I've been fortunate enough to like one have abnormal problems and two be an abnormal person and i know that it's abnormal because my objectives and lists and goals are like really specific so what i want right now is i want to resell these like 14 walt disney shirts that i got at the thrift store that i think will sell right but that's not why I'm doing it. I'm not doing it just to sell shirts. What I want is I want that money to help me buy a hospital bed off of Craigslist because you don't know this, that hospital beds um, sell for low and you can resell them if you're willing to move them, right? And this kind of life is better fit for one person because I'll tell you why I want the hospital bed. And I guess I should explain it this way. Imagine being like a loving partner and just seeing this person you adore rummaging through these shirts and they come home excited. Like, look at all these Walt Disney shirts. This is going to be the key out of here. And then they sell them and you're like, good. <laughs> what are you doing next? And they're like, I got a lead on this hospital bed. We just got to drive out to Commerce City and bring it back. And then you're like, OK. And then finally, this person resells their hospital bed, also on Craigslist. And then the day comes and they show up with what they actually wanted, why they went through all that trouble. And I walk in with a $450 Muppet that I bought off eBay. That's what I want, you know? And when I'm sitting there looking at it, I'm just like, man, once I get that puppet, everything's gonna change. You and me, puppet, we're going to run this town. And $450, it's no joke. Like, when you start looking into professional puppets, there is no secondary, like, puppet market. It's not the same with, like, shirts and hospital beds. Like, with puppet, with puppet people, you're either all in or all out. Like, they don't fuck around. It's not a joke. And, you know, then I, I remember that, like, even though that stuff does seem normal, how much of this is actually normal? Because every day, we all walk around and there's just like a fireball in the sky. A burning, life-giving fireball. And we just like don't even think twice. I think twice. I think a lot. Man, once I get that puppet though, we're going to run this town.